Today I want to show you how easy it is to build a new report using Excel Report Builder. Now Excel Report Builder is part of the SmartList Builder module and it makes it easy to create new reports that can be rendered in Excel with data from Dynamics GP. To navigate to the main window, go up here to Microsoft, go to Tools, SmartList Builder, and Excel Report Builder. This is the only window you're going to need to create a new report using Excel Report Builder. So let's create one. The one I want to create has MRP data. Specifically, it has purchase requests created by the MRP process in manufacturing. So let's create that right now. So I'm going to set up the table. Now the next step really is the most difficult one. And all it really is is identifying which table or tables you want to include in your report. I'm going to make a simple one. So I'm just going to add the MRP 1010. You can see here that I can include data from data connections. I can include tables from Dynamics GP. I can also include other SQL Server tables or views. I'm going to select Microsoft Dynamics GP tables. The product I'm going to use is manufacturing. Let me scroll down here. And the table I'm looking for is MRP 1010, but it has a sh technical shortcut called uh, PR short items work here it is let me save that you can see it automatically brings up all the fields because I don't have a lot of fields here in this table I'm gonna select them all now basically I've created my report go up here and it's gonna automatically fill in a view name the next thing I want to do is publish the report so I hit publish I can check my permissions. I can make it available to any of these roles within SQL. I'm going to mark them all. And then I'm going to publish it. I have the ability to publish it to the reports library within Dynamics GP, but I can also publish it automatically to SharePoint or just to a file. But we'll publish it to reports library, hit publish, and I'm done. So now let's take a look at that report. All the Excel reports are going to be based in the Administration tab. So let me click on that. And they're all under this Other Reports. In this area, we've got all the standard Excel report builder reports that come with the system, but also the new ones that you add through Excel Report Builder. So I've got a number of them here. I'm going to filter. And here's my report. It automatically creates another one in the company database. But I'm going to select this report here and to view, I just click on view. It's going to open up Excel, give me the data that I'm looking for. But what I really like about this product is that it automatically creates the connection to the data. Let's take a look at that. Here's the data connection back to SQL Server. Let's take a look at the properties. And what I like about this feature is that it automatically creates this connection so from a user standpoint it makes it easy to connect to the data back in Dynamics GP. Once this connection is created you can save it with the Excel report and use it over and over again. In fact if you refresh the data it's going to go back out to SQL Server and retrieve the data. Now this is the easy way to do it. You can get more complex with additional tables but this is really an easy reporting table reporting tool in Dynamics GP. So take a look at it. Again, it's part of the SmartList Builder module. It's a little hard to find, but it's easy to install and it's easy to use. And feel free to give us a call should you have any questions about this module or any, th any others within Dynamics GP.